Okay, let's get into the work. Um, we're looking at independent activities. So I've got massive list. I mean, the list is, is over a thousand. And uh, this is a, a part of the list. And 111 independent activities. Now I've watched over 20,000. Well, well, well. It might even be 40,000, but I'll say at least over 20,000 exercises. So uh, I'm going through some of my work and uh, putting these lists together, the list of uh, activities. So here's, here's this. Let's start with uh, um, changing watch straps. Really good activity. Uh, detailing a bride's headdress. Now you can inscribe it, you can embroider it, or you can also add a graphic to it, like an emblem of a couple kissing or something, put it on the headdress. Do knife sharpening. You want to ask the teacher first if you're allowed to bring knives in the classroom. Because you might be able to, you might not. Um, um, removing core from a, a three dozen cupcakes. So there's these core removers, and you put them in, and you can cut out the middle section, and you put filling inside the middle of the cupcake. A little bit difficult. I'm here tin dotting. There's a, a art craft called tin dotting. You can literally take a tin, and you can dot the artwork on it. It takes very, very tedious work. Some of the miners back in the day used to used to like doing those for activities, for hobbies. Um, all right, <clears throat> decorating a paper lantern. Paper lanterns are very delicate. Hand making origami pyramid. Um, Orgon, it's an or it's an Orgon pyramid. It's a uh, pyramid that is usually made out of some sort of epoxy. And you can make these pyramids that apparently, because of the shape of the pyramid, they'll actually start to hold energy, which goes back into some work of, um, I think his name is Pollock, um, a book that was on uh, how shapes actually hold energy. Uh, and there's another great one called The Fourth Phase of Water. Um, okay, so what's this next one is um, making your own masquerade mask. Making your own masquerade mask. It's a good one. Matting a framing and framing a diploma. So you get your diploma or your certificate or you do an online course that you want to be able to frame it and you set yourself up with all the other ingredients, meaning, um, measurability, difficulty, and motivation is always forgotten in these independent activities. It's the biggest ingredient. Hi. Now listen, could you please just help me out? I need really, really good acting questions so I can help you out. So if you can write down in the comment section, each comment a separate question, write down an acting question, this would really help to be able to have people learn acting. Okay? I know a lot about acting. I've seen over 20,000 exercises and it's probably closer to 40. I just don't do these numbers. I don't count all this stuff. This is just some of my notebooks, only some. So um, please, just write down, comment, and say, listen, this is your acting questions. I'll see what I can do to answer them, okay? Thanks very much. In, in, in acting. Um, okay, you could be writing a soliloquy song, or you could be writing a poem. You'd have to have a strong meaning for it, but that's, that's it's possible. Add bead weaving. Here it is, yeah. Bead weaving through string. So you can do bead weaving. You can also do leather beads. You can bead a leather uh, string through the beads. Setting up a Christmas tree. If you bring in a Christmas tree, make sure it's small enough to be able to actually be movable in and out of the stage for acting. You can set up a Christmas tree, and that could definitely be an activity. Uh, slicing uh, five or six layers of cake. So you have a cake, maybe a round cake or a different shapes of cake, and you're literally slicing the different sections to put filling between the different sections of cake. It's a bit of a difficult activity. Okay, so we've got, um, you can do icing a five layer cake, 
same similar to the, the same one. Uh, carving a candlestick holder. You can carve a candlestick holder out of several materials. Brainstorm what those might be. Uh, painting a ceramic vase. So you're painting a ceramic vase. Uh, you could also um, put a final coat on a ceramic vase that make it shinier. Uh, gold foiling, mirror's edge, that's a fantastic activity. So this activity is you gold foil, I've got uh, in the shop, I've got some uh, gold foil um, um, materials and you can literally put on the edge of the mirror, you can put that gold foil and you gotta be very delicate, you gotta put the gold foil on the edge. Next one is mixing dough. Mixing dough. This is for bread making. Kneading the dough, mixing the dough is very difficult activity. I got juggling balls. You got juggling uh, the juggle, uh, circus balls. You're juggling the, the um, to see if you can juggle three. If you can, can you do two in one hand? And then uh, that's kind of it's kind of neat. Okay, we have adding lace ribbon to the edge of a pillow. Now, you could do this with one of these handheld sewing machines. I added that to the, uh, to the uh, site. Um, but and you can get this a few different places. But the thing is, is you can, you can add a lace of ribbon to the pillow's edge with uh, uh, a sewing machine. A uh, handheld sewing machine, or you can bring in a, a, a more a diverse, larger one. Okay, building your own cup coaster. You can very creatively build your own cup coaster. Now, another uh, miser activity, independent activity, is making small sage bundles from a bulk box. So you're making a small sage bundle. Bundle. Uh, Next Meisner activity or uh, acting activity is making your own carnation brooch. Now you make your own carnation brooch. It's a good activity. Uh, metal painting, the next one is, is metal painting metal miniature car. So you've got a metal paint, you've got very specific model metal paint that you can get. That you can then give a mini car a paint job, which is fantastic. And that's a pretty that's that's pretty cool. I mean, it's I like it. But listen, you want to pick ones that you like and you want to do. You want to be motivated to do these activities, and then you add in all the other acting ingredients. If you want to deal with consequence, you deal with consequence. But make sure the consequence has a motivation, not just a penalty. You want to make sure that you want to get these things done. Put some focus and energy into them. Okay, practice. Perfecting a mini putt distance. It's a great one. Carving your own incense holder. That's a good activity. Uh, making a jewelry tree. That's a good acting activity. You want to make a jewelry picture frame hanger. Now you take an old, old picture frame, an old picture frame, and you attach the little um, uh, necklace material like the necklace chain and you put a necklace chain across on each side and you put about three or four of them on each of the picture frames and if you do that then you can hang your little um, jewelry or whatever it is that you that you do with your earrings or whatever it is on the on the chain and then you can literally have that and put it in whatever use it in life sell it I don't know but the thing is is that you can get it you can you can do all sorts of things with that that's a good activity you could be doing that activity for a lot of reasons. You could be doing that because it's for a gift. You could be doing that because you need to pay your rent. You could be doing that for all kinds of reasons. So, adding rims to motorcycle. Now, if you add a decent activity, but you've got to make sure that you're working on a stage that bring you're allowed to bring a motorcycle in. Um, packing, packing clothing for shipping. So, there's. Um, you might have a stack of clothes, you've got to fold them a certain way for packing for shipping and put them in the little uh, containers for shipping. It's a good activity. Uh, assembling a wall clock. Yes, yeah, so you've got these wall clock assembly kits. And you've got these 
these kits that you have the clock and you got this and you got these parts and you want to put that on a, on a board or a background it's a good activity another good acting activity is assembling a chandelier you can get some of these that are like not so expensive and then you can assemble a chandelier chandelier uh, repairing a wind chime uh, carving a wooden decal good activity Okay, you got adding an illust you got illustration of um, drawing images on a child book. Yeah, you could do that. That's I stroked it out because that's a repeat. I'm sorry about that. I, I didn't I didn't catch it in time. Um, making your own green screen from fabric. So you go to the store. You go looking for green screen or blue screen material. You want to make sure you've got whatever color right, and then you can you can make your own green screen fabric, you want to add the hooks to it, you want to add Velcro to it, you want to be able to make it so that it hangs up properly. It's a good activity. Remembering a paddock combination. So you got a number paddock and maybe you don't know the code but you should remember it and your whole activity is trying to be able to get that padlock open. Could be, could be interesting. You could have it on a bag. That you're trying to get into and you don't want to destroy the bag so you've got a number padlock and you've got to be able to get the combination open not a bad activity it's something some people it works for other people not so much but usually usually people can figure that out okay we got ironing a green screen ironing a green screen uh, another acting activity is attaching a dartboard to a plank and then you want to decorate the plank you have an activity of uh, painting, refinishing a conch shell, seashell. Now, I heard some of these are expensive. Look, there's all sorts of different, um, some of them are real conch shells, some of them are imitation conch shells. You might be able to find something and, and paint, refinish it. It might be a good activity. Um, well, it is a good activity. But uh, you obviously add your reasons, make sure that it's meaningful, all that. Um, if you're at the level of the work where you're doing emotional preparation, you want to be able to add emotional preparation to every single one of these activities. Don't cheat yourself out of your work. Okay, so we have a um, next acting activity or Meisner activity is uh, embroidery on straw hat. Cre uh, Meisner activity of creating a burlap Christmas bow decoration. Now burlap is very difficult to do. So if it's very easy for you to make one, you want to make five. You want to make five Christmas bow direct decorations. What up? The next one is uh, next activity is opening chestnuts. You want to open the chestnuts. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, painting uh, a hunting duck decoy. So you can paint a hunting duck de decoy. Next acting activity is fixing a ham radio. So you fix the ham radio. Now you've got to do a little bit of research here. You've got to know how to fix a ham radio. You can't just say that you're fixing the ham radio. These are not props. These are actual things that you're involved in doing. Now acting is being and then it's doing. But still, this is important. So next one is planning a physical route on physical map. So you want to actually write down directions based off of not looking up the directions on your phone, but actually trying to see if you can do it by, like literally, just your own self figuring it out. Okay, you want to stack, cleaning a stack of menus. Um, making a picket sign for a strike, good activity. Making a sign for a political rally, that's a good activity. Um, Repairing a garden hose. Now, if the garden hose is it has a hole in it, you've got to cut it out. You've got to cut the hole out, and then there's these attachments that you can put in to make sure it doesn't leak. And you put the two parts together, and you've got to cut it right with an X-Acto knife and cut that part that has the hole out. Good activity. Now, this is a great activity. Uh, packing a parachute. This is how you should do every single activity. You should be worried and thinking and focused and concentrate just as badly as you want to pack a parachute. You don't want to have enough parachute not packed correctly. 
acting activity of bespoking thumbnail design for an internet video. That is a real genuine activity. It is very fine to do. Um, acting activity of cleaning paint brushes that have dried paint. That is a difficult task to do, definitely. Okay, now I have uh, some here. Sharpening a, oh yeah, you could sharpen a chainsaw chain. Now, you've got to have a file. You got to take the chainsaw chain. You don't really need the chainsaw, but you, you need the chain definitely. Another activity is actually attaching the chain to the chainsaw. It might be a difficult. For some people, that would be a difficulty. Other people might be able to do it more easily. But it's still, that's a good one. So, uh, acting activity is replacing weed eater. Garden plastic string. Oh yeah, so you got your weed eater, your whatever you call it. You think it goes out and trims the trim trimmer, and uh, you replace that little plastic string, so you've got more string to go into it. Now, if you find it easy to do one, bring three. Then you got three of them that you have to change, and that's what you're going to do. Now, you have replacing a lawnmower gas tank. That's a good activity. You obviously have to know what you're doing. And this is a great activity. Assembling your own ukulele guitar kit. Great activity. Okay, so let's keep working here. Activity of making your own pop-up card. This is a great activity. You got an acting activity of painting a wicker basket. Now, wicker is a little bit tricky to paint, so you've got to really make sure now. When you're doing painting activities, don't make a mess. Put a tarp down. Get an acting uh, uh, tarp. You want to get your acting tarp, and you want to be able to put it down. You don't make a mess. And then you can get your activity done, and you don't be afraid of paint going on the floor. Um, now, uh, splitting coconuts, great activity, splitting coconuts. Hi, now listen, could you please just help me out? I need really, really good acting questions so I can help you out. So if you can write down in the comment section, each comment a separate question, write down an acting question, this would really help to be able to have people learn acting, okay? I know a lot about acting. I've seen over 20,000 exercises and it's probably closer to 40. I just don't do these numbers. I don't count all this stuff. This is just some of my notebooks, only some. So um, please just write down comment and say, listen, this is your acting questions. I'll see what I can do to answer them, okay? Thanks very much. Another activity, another acting activity, Meisner activity, is scraping out coconut core. So you've got the soft part of the coconut, scrape it out. That's good activity. Making an Easter wreath, good activity. Uh, activity of sewing your own face mask. So you want to sew your own face mask, cover your face, cover your eyes, you want to make it different, however, you could do it's good, good, uh, good idea. Now, um, acting activity idea is assembling a um, baby crib. Go get a baby crib or ask to borrow a baby crib. Somebody's got a baby crib lying around somewhere and you can, you can bring it into the acting class and your job is to assemble that baby crib. You give yourself a reason, you give yourself a motivation. Motivation's more important than all the other stuff. You want to really have yourself involved in it. Then you've got your um, acting activity is preparing uh, stringing flower bundles for drying. Now you've got bunches of flowers. You bring a whole box of you get a whole box of flowers. You bring a whole box of flowers, and your job is to be able to string them up to be able to dry them. It's not a bad activity. Um, I don't know if I would do that activity myself, but maybe I like flowers. You know, maybe I would. Who knows? So. Inflating a hand pump Christmas decoration. Now, you get the lawn Christmas decorations or Halloween or holiday decorations, and you take those lawn decorations and you, you pump them up by a hand pump. It's a good activity. Uh, okay, so you got sewing Christmas stockings. You got sewing Christmas stockings. You got building a canvas frame. 
Yeah, you can build a canvas frame. It's, it's a good activity. Assembling a stack of uh, pizza boxes. So you go and you ask somebody if you can get a pack, a stack of pizza boxes, and your activity is sit there and assemble those pizza boxes. That's your activity. Good activity. Give yourself a reason. Give yourself a you, you give yourself a reason for wanting to do that. You might be, you might be surprised what actually how the work at, turns out. Okay, designing your own blank flag from paint. Now, if you uh, join one of these maternity groups or something, I don't recommend any of these groups. But the thing is, is you put one of these groups, these uh, these uh, flags down, and you 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 make one of these flags. You design your own flag, and you make your own uh, flag for your flagpole. Um, now, next acting activity is skip jump roping. You could do it. It works, uh, but you want to get specific. What jump move are you trying to do? What jump move are you? Okay. Next acting activity is carving ABC blocks for children. So you get your activity, you've got all your supplies together, and you carve out the, the letter for that. That's a great activity. That can lead to a lot of things. It could be in a lot of work. Now, next acting Meisner activity, independent activity, is assembling a remote control car. So you get a remote control car, and you assemble a remote control car. All right, now, next acting activity is hand sketching tapestry. It's a good activity. You gotta sketch the tapestry. Now, tapestry is usually pretty large. You're looking at something that might be over three to five feet. Now, you got redrawing. Now, next activity is redrawing the map. Now, you could be redrawing a map in a different scale. So, a different scale means that, you're, that you're, you have a map that's this size, but you need to make it this size. So, you have to accurately draw this map to be able to be this big. Great activity. Okay, pleating a pair of dress pants. Now, there's this special sewing. Uh, technique called pleating. So you can pleat the pair of dress pants. Good activity. Um, cleaning animal hair off of a couch. Now, you want to get the teacher's permission for cleaning animal hair. You want to be able to sit there and get at your teacher's permission. Once you have your teacher's permission, you get your friend to throw animal hair all over the couch. Then you go in with your activity, and your activity is to make sure that couch is spotless clean, completely spotless. Not one bit of animal hair. You bring your vacuum cleaner, you bring your bucket, you bring whatever you need to clean the couch. Lint brush, you make sure there's not a spot on that couch. That's a great activity. Now, rolling pasta. There's some very difficult rolling pasta techniques. You could find some, and you could find it and do it. Uh, now, acting activity, Meisner activity. Giving yourself a real tattoo. Now, I don't recommend this activity, but some people might be, if you're, I don't know, this, I'm putting it down because it's, no, I do recommend this activity. Giving yourself your own stick on uh, uh, tattoos, body tattoos. So you're making sure you've got your own stick on body tattoo. That's, that's an okay activity. Now, I don't know if I'd let anybody do a real tattoo on themselves, but but I I I, prob, I would definitely let you do stick-ons in the classroom, and and they look realistic. Okay, so changing a rear head brake cable on a bicycle is a good acting activity. Now, securing ruffles lacing on a dog bed. So you take your dog bed for some reason you want little fluff fluff to be able to have a a, a lace around the, the dog, dog bed, and you're determined to be able to have it. Works, yeah, it's a good activity. Um, crocheting a mouse, oh yeah, you could crochet a mouse for your cat. It's very possible that that's an actual activity you could do. Now, slicing kiwi skin, so you could slice out the kiwi. So you take off, the de-skinning the kiwis. And you want, maybe you need to make a shape with the kiwi skins. Okay. Now we've got, um, what is this? Stone, oh yeah, so you've got these things called a piston and pestle or something. You've got a, a bowl and a pestle, pesta. 
and you've got these things and you can be crushing seeds in these little pistons, pestles, these little bowls and you got a, they're made out of stone and you've got your pestle and you've got to crush all the little seeds in the batter. Now this is a very difficult activity. So crushing seeds into powder, that's the activity with that, with that little instrument. Decorating a birthday cake is a great activity. Assembling a wind chime. You got um, a wind chime, now you can buy these wind chimes. I've got a couple up somewhere uh, and you can buy them anywhere. You can find them out, yard sales, whatever. But the thing is, is you want to be able to get a wind chime. You ask your friend to disassemble it in a way that would still be able to be reassembled. And then you can then work as your activity to be able to assemble that wind chime. It's a good activity. Fixing a vacuum cleaner is a great activity, but you've got to learn about vacuum cleaners. Now, Meisner acting activity, slicing layered cake. Now, you can slice layered cake. That's different than going on the sides. You can slice it in different sides in different ways. You can pit out the middle to be able to put filling in the middle. It's a good activity. Uh, packaging postal parcels. So you're, you're literally packaging items to be sent to the mail. Now you got jam making. Now you want to bring in the jam making again. Don't think that you can make a mess in the studio. Throw down the tarp. Make sure you've got everything neat so you, if you spill anything it's going to be easy to clean up. Now acting activity of mashing garlic cloves. Great activity. It's a little smelly but you bring some tarp you can do it. it it's a good activity. Assembling a small chicken coop. Make sure it's small. Completing wedding ring holder. Now this is a good activity. You bring in and you complete a wedding ring holder. You personalize it. You do something to make it special. Dressing a poodle dog. Now if your teacher's okay with that, then that's a great activity. You can dress a poodle dog up in a bunch of costumes. Make sure it's not too yappy. Hopefully. And then take pictures. You set up the whole thing and you can do that as an activity. Completing crafting of a Christmas tree angel great activity. You got adding a skirt of cha to chairs. So you add the skirt to the chairs. Now decorating a room partition is a great activity. Adding a wall vinyl design to a room partition is a great activity. Both of those are good activities. You got stuffing Christmas tree stockings. Now you could be stuffing Christmas tree stockings and you could also be stitching your own Christmas tree stockings. You want to make a specific Christmas tree stocking. Very good activity. Hand making a gift card. Good. Ironing iron-on graphic to a pillow slip. So you take a pillow slip and you're trying to make sure that you've got iron pillow. Okay, a little bit left. Now, we have um, balancing on a unicycle. I've got one for sale in the store, I think. I will have. If I don't have, I will have. I'll figure that out because that's a good activity. Uh, poking stamp needle. Now you got poking stamp needling. Uh, it's an activity. There's an activity called that that does exist. Now we got an acting Meisner activity, building a wine rack. You know, building wine racks, assembling a cat tower, another one. Assembling a bed frame. Now you want to bring in a, you probably want to bring in a small bed frame or a single bed frame and then assemble it. It's a good, good activity. Setting up photographic lighting. Good activity. When you're crafting your own jewelry box. Now when you craft your own jewelry box, you want to be able to have and craft this. This is very good. Preparing a raw raw beans for cooking. Yeah, that could that there could be a few different ways you can do that without cooking them. You can prepare the beans. Maybe you're getting really fresh beans, you've got to, you you could oh that was the one where you could take the you could strip out the beans and the peas, so you got your pea pods, and then you got the pea pods, and you you strip strip them out of the pea pod. So you're literally taking the peas from the pea pod. That's a good activity. Could work with a lot of films and different things. Assembling a fondue fountain. That's a great activity. Setting up a fondue fountain. You have cleaning a chandelier. Cleaning a chandelier is a lot of tough work. So this is a hundred and 11 or so, I think there was 113 independent activities that are different. These are a part of the master list. 
Uh, you can get the seven dollars or five dollar whatever so if it's on sale it's five if it's not on sale it's seven and you can get over uh, 800 plus activities on that list printed so it's all printed out now look get working get to work on activities put yourself in pick one that motivates you make sure you're actually doing a motivated activity motivated is key and then add all the other ingredients that everybody else is asking for you, but make sure that motivation is the number one ingredient for acting. If you're not motivated and you're stuck in your logic, thinking that you're stuck in some kind of consequence, then you're not going to be doing very well in your acting. Now, there's been a lot of people over the years that I've watched acting. I've watched over 20,000 acting exercises, and it's been well over 20,000. So, um, Get to work. Let me know any, any activities. Let me know in the comments, please.